To show you how easy it is to file a claim with GEICO, we hired a nature show host. In the native habitat of a suburban driveway, the poor victim of a broken windshield is left assessing his vehicle utterly helpless. Well, not true. If he's got GEICO, he can file a claim online, over the phone, or with his handy mobile app. But like a lone gazelle, he'll suddenly be left to fend for himself, awaiting his terrible fate. Nope. GEICO will assign him a designated claims team to help him out, too. So the gazelle gets his car fixed and everything. Wow. Nature is so cool. GEICO. Great service. Without all the drama. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for checking out The Dreamer's Direction, another Ben Nichols podcast. Let's go have a great day. You deserve it. Yeah. Perfect. What's shaking, bacon? Thank you for tuning back in, man. It means a lot. I really appreciate it. And I mean, thank you for telling your friends. I mean, I, we grow in numbers by the day, right? Like, and that is just awesome. So thank you to The Dreamer Nation. I love you. Today, we're going to be talking about networking and how pivotal and important it is. So it doesn't matter what it is you're trying to do. If you're a musician, if you're an artist, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a business owner, if you're a sales rep, any title, anything that you could possibly do professionally, it will never fail you to have a strong network of people. And what I mean by that, not only friends and family, but strangers, you know, like networking, It's not about what you know, it's about who you know. So many people will attribute their success to that notion, okay? And one of the best ways to network in the 21st century that we occupy is social media, okay? For for instance, you're probably listening to this either on Facebook, on YouTube, or Apple Podcasts, whatever. Um, You've probably seen it on Instagram or Facebook, you know, what have you, right? Like, you've seen me everywhere, And that's a part of my network. Like social media is literally a part of your network. You say, Ben, I don't know anybody. I don't even know how I could get something off the ground. Yes, you do. You have 800 friends on Facebook. You have 800 people in your network. You say, well, none of them really do anything. Okay, bro. Listen, again, it's not about what you know. It's about who you know. So if you know 800 people, they all almost know at least one other person, right? And so that is a network. It's literally you, you draw a line to one of your 800 friends on Facebook, then you draw a line from them to one of their friends. Like that's what networking is. And social media is one of the easiest tools that you can possibly use to grow your network. I think Facebook will allow you to have an uh, uh, 5,000 friends without being like a, like an actual page like a user profile on Facebook, I think you can have up to 5,000 friends. So use it, you know, <laughs> like like add everybody you can. Going back to an episode earlier in the season, obscurity is the only thing that stands in your way, okay? And everybody says, well, Facebook's on the way out. No, it's not. No, it's not. Facebook is full of multiple different demographics. Sure, the younger generations may not know necessarily what Facebook is, but the younger generations have Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. You know, there's LinkedIn. Like, there are so many other platforms and social medias that you can use. Discord, that's a new one. YouTube, I mean, it's literally like the opportunities are endless with social media. Another good way to grow your network is to have some business cards made. Like, again, it doesn't matter if you're an artist, a musician, a YouTuber, an influencer, an entrepreneur, a business owner, you know, what have you. Business cards are a tried and true, tried and true way to grow your network. Check it out, okay? I just had over 2,000 business cards printed off, and in the last three days, I've handed out 1,000. That's, (laughs) yeah, you've heard me. In the last three days, I have given out 1,000 business cards, okay? And what these cards say they say the name of my company, Benjamin Productions, LLC. They have my name and my title, Ben Nichols, owner and manager. They have a picture of my face, my contact information, and my link tree, right? And, and I know link tree, you're like, oh, he doesn't even have a website. Sidebar, I don't think a, I don't think a website is entirely necessary anymore, truly. I mean, when was the last time you went directly to someone's website other than Facebook, Twitter, 
Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn. Linktree will put all of those together for you and it's free, right? Yeah, I mean, you can pay for it, of course, and get extra features, but Linktree's free. Social media is free. I'm all about free, man. That free 99, and that's the way to go. Okay, but anyway, hear me out. These business cards have the name of my company, my name, my title, my contact information, and my face. All of that is on the front, right? And on the back, it has what I do. So hear me out. In in the last three days, I've passed out a 1,000 business cards out of the 2,000 that I got, okay? Sure, they have generated some new contacts. Like I have gotten some, you know, texts, some emails back from these business cards that I otherwise would never have made connections with growing my network. Okay. I'd probably say about 30, right? So 10 a day. That's awesome. Like that's really, really cool. Right now. Sure. If anything ever comes out of that, that's another story, right? Like, but hear me out. 30 people in the last three days out of the thousand business cards that I've actually handed out, 30 people have contacted me from that. That's a win, okay? That is a win and a half, and I'll tell you why. Because without those cards, my network would not have grown by those 30 people, okay? And you're probably thinking, okay, Ben, well, what about the other 970 people, right? Like, (laughs) what about the rest of those cards? Check this out. Going back to what the card actually is, it has my name, it has my face, on the front, okay? It's got my name and my face on the front. Going beyond the name of the company, right? Like, they don't care. They don't care what the company is, but they see my name and they see my face. And even if I put this in someone's hand and walk down the street and I get out of, you know, they're waiting until I can't see them anymore to throw it away, on the back, it has what I do, right? So I'll put this in somebody's hand and they say, oh, okay, Ben Nichols, uh, well, he's in a, you know, gosh, he looks ugly, you know, poor guy, (laughs) like, you know, like, uh, but they know my face, they know my name. And as they watch this card flutter to the trash can on the back, it has what I do. So I've made an impression whether the card gets kept or not. Right. And here's the real kicker. Here's where networking really takes off. Maybe they don't throw it away. Maybe they just toss it down somewhere else and somebody else picks it up. Right. That's an op, you know, that's an opportunity or Even if they do, just toss it in the trash can. I've already made an impression on their mind. They know what Ben Nichols looks like. They know what he does. And the very next place they go, especially if they're in downtown Mount Airy, chances are they're going to see another one of these cards. Okay, did you know that it takes three to seven quote-unquote touches for somebody to make a decision? That means it takes anywhere from three to seven times to, for somebody to see something before they actually check it out for themselves. And a touch doesn't have to be physical. I mean, it could be word of mouth like you like you right now. After this episode, you go tell a friend, hey, man, you got to go check out The Dreamer's Direction with Ben Nichols. It's an awesome podcast. Okay, that's a touch. Then they see a post on social media. That's a touch. And then they see the business card. That's a touch, right? So there's three right there. Four. Like, we could go on and on with all the social medias that I've established my omnipresence on. I'm there, right? Like, I'm going to get somebody's attention eventually. And that's really what it's about, growing your network, okay? So we've hit on social media. We've hit on business cards. The next thing with networking I really, really, really think is about to blow up are digital business cards, okay? Okay. And instead of going to Staples or going to Vistaprint or wherever you could get them, by the way, I mean, I'm not going to cap. I got mine from Staples. And that's also why I'm not sweating it, right? Because for 2,000 business cards, I think it ended up costing me like 22, 25 bucks. You know, like it wasn't anything crazy. Um, You're going to find a way to waste 20 bucks today. I guarantee it, right? So like, that's the way I look at it, especially if I get at least one new contact from that card, right? But I've already gotten like 30. And that's crazy, right? Now, going back to the digital business cards, there's one brand that I've actually used myself and I actually strongly recommend. Uh, It's called Popple, P-O-P-L. And what it is, man, it's like uh, they have a variety of different products. One of them's like a pop socket. It goes on the back of your phone, but instead of holding it, it's just a circle. And you tap it to somebody's phone 
and literally a website will pop up as soon as you touch it to the back of their phone. Like it's like an air tag or whatever. Uh, I'm not a tech guy. Okay. Like I know how stuff works, but you just tap this to the back of somebody's phone and then bam, all of a sudden there are all your links right there. Your picture, your company logo. There's something called a dot card, which is a different brand, but it's typically the same type of product. And that's actually like a card that you keep in your wallet. You don't hand it to anybody, but you do the same thing. You pull it out, you tap the back of your phone, bam, there you are, right? My personal favorite product that I've used is the Popple wristband, okay? And it's just like, like seriously, it's just, you don't even have to charge it. Like it's literally like a rubber wristband, just like any other. And what it is, is you wear it, you meet a, you meet somebody, right? You're doing some networking, and they say, oh, you know, where can I find your stuff at? You tap your back of the phone to the wristband and boom, there it is, right? There are thousands of different ways that you can expand your network. One of the best and tried and true, I swear to you, phone books, and, <laughs> right, right, right? And you're like, Ben, come on, who uses a phone book anymore? Um, this is, and I say this endearingly, older people, right? Like, <laughs> like, dude, There are so many ways that you can grow your network. Just word of mouth. Ask somebody, you know, like, hey, do you know anybody that is in a podcasting business? Do you know anybody that is in the YouTube business? Like, you know, anything. Do you know anybody who is a dog groomer? Like, grow your network, man. Ask. Get out there. It doesn't matter if they throw it away. It doesn't matter if they don't, you know, buy it or, you know, like check it out. It doesn't matter. What matters is at least you tried, right? Because I'll leave you with this. If Ben hadn't have gone out and passed out a thousand business cards, Ben wouldn't have made 30 new connections, right? Right? You say, well, yeah, but he, you know, we wasted 970 cards. Uh, bro, it cost me 20 bucks for 2000. I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? It's fine. So that's how you grow your network, man. Facebook will let you have 5,000 friends as a regular user. I'm running Facebook up right now. I will not stop until I cap that up. And then guess what? I'm a hop on Instagram. Like, dude. (laughs) Oh, but you do have to be careful though, because with Instagram, they will literally like shut you down. They will keep you from posting. Instagram doesn't want to see you win, bro. And also, when it comes to growing your network, you got to remember like with anything else, it's a long term thing. You're not going to have 5,000 new people, you know, that you can immediately contact overnight. Like it is going to take time and you have to, you have to understand that. But with all the different plethora, you know, all the different ways that you can grow your network, do it day by day. You know what I'm saying? Put yourself out there. So that was Ben's little spiel on networking and Uh, We're a little over 30 days into the Dreamers direction, so we'll revisit this topic here in a couple months, and we'll see just how big my network has grown, okay? Something else I want to talk about is the actual direction of the Dreamers direction. So when we started this show, it was, and still is, going to be short, daily, effective messages to help you start your day, okay? Encouraging, uh, inspiring messages, topics, and everything like that, short and sweet, Get you thinking in the morning, have a great day, okay? That's how it started, and we're going to keep that going. However, now that this platform has started to snowball into what it is, I mean, no cap, they are listening in Russia, they are listening in South Africa, Brazil, Canada, you know, like (laughs) Australia. Uh, We are literally worldwide in every continent, right? And we are growing in numbers by the day. Shout out to you, Dreamer Nation, okay? But the point is, is now that this platform is really starting to take off and snowball, it's selfish of me not to bring anybody else on, right? Like my perspective isn't the only one that's going to help you grow. So as a listener, I want to give you as many different perspectives as possible, okay? And as a host, that means bringing on anybody and everybody that I possibly can, now, they got to be positive, right? Like, I, I don't want any gangbangers up on the show. Like, you know, uh, that might be a different podcast idea, though. I'm pretty sure one already exists. But hear me out, okay? I want musicians. I want artists. I want painters, sculptors, right? I want the creatives. I also want the business side of things. I want entrepreneurs. I want sales reps. I want marketing managers. I want realtors, right? Like, I want 
anything that you could possibly think of, any business, any title, any professional capacity, I want to get that perspective out there for two reasons. One, I'm a firm believer in multiple perspectives will help you grow. Ask anybody in my mastermind group, right? Going back to something that we've already talked about on the show, go check out the episode entitled Mastermind! Exclamation point. Okay, but ask anybody in my little mastermind group. I <laughs> like I ask them, what do you think about this idea? Not because I need their approval, but I ask them, what do you think about this every time? Again, not because I need their approval, but because what they might say is going to influence, you know, like that could create an entirely new idea. It could just, they might have a whole different way they're looking at it. Actually, Ben, that's a great idea. Or dude, it could be even better if you did it like this. Or Ben, I'm going to be honest with you, do not do that. (laughs) Like, you know, perspectives are awesome. So get as many as you can. Secondly, I want to help businesses grow, going back to the goals that we've established earlier in the show as well. And I'll reiterate, in case this is your first time listening, man, my goals as a podcast producer are to inspire at least one person every day, make one person laugh every day, and help my community grow. And my immediate community here in Surrey County can grow by having all of these local businesses and entrepreneurs come on the show and share their perspective about what it's like to be a business owner, what it's like to be a restaurant owner, what it's like to be a line cook, right? Like it doesn't matter what it's like to be a welder, what it's like to be an electrician. We can go on and on and on. The point is, is I want to give you the listener as many different perspectives as possible because that will help everybody grow. That it will help me grow. That will help the speaker grow. That will help you as a listener grow. That will help the community grow. You know what I'm saying? It's all about growth. The dreamer's direction is up in case you haven't figured that out. The direction is up. The only way out is up, man. So let's do it. But again, thank you for tuning back in, man. Uh, I hope you have a great Sunday. You deserve it. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Time to take this submarine back up. Uh, But it's tax season up there, Captain. You know, all that stressing over taxes isn't necessary with Tax Act. How did you get... April here. To remind you that with Tax Act, you're guaranteed your maximum refund while filing for less. Beats being submerged for another month. May hey, Captain? To your stations. We're headed home. Guess I should probably close that window I opened. What? Kidding. Tax Act. Switch to Tax Act today and start for free. See TaxAct.com for details. Hi, I'm Flo from Progressive. Being a baseball fanatic like me can be stressful. It's not all sports points and touchdowns. So Progressive is going to help you take your mind off your team for a moment. Instead of thinking about how they missed that goal point score, think about the Name Your Price tool from Progressive letting you choose coverage options based on your budget. Unlike your team that missed the end zone net area. Well, anyway, hope this distraction about Progressive's Name Your Price tool was helpful. It sure kept me from thinking about all those penalty balls. Yay, sports! Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law.